So when I use the term anomaly, it means that uh, while designing a database, I made some kind of a mistake and database design is actually not perfect. And it may contain some problems which can be called as anomalies, which are like a bad dream for any database writer, programmer. A person who is actually managing a database with anomaly is actually next to impossible. So there are, there are three kinds of anomalies theoretically. First one is update anomalies. So if data items are actually scattered and not linked to each other properly, uh, for example, when I talk about the link, there's a primary and for a key relationship between the entities and that link is absent, then it could lead to the strange situation. For example, when we try to update one data item, having it, it copies scattered over all several places, a few instances get updated properly while a few others are left with old values. Such instances leave the database in, 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 is in an inconsistent state. Uh, then, uh, then there is second one is deletion anomalies. So we try to delete a record, but parts of it of it was actually left undetected because of unawareness. The data is also saved somewhere else. It's, it it acts like the same like update anomaly, but in a manner like in update we are actually updating a value for a record. And in deletion, we are actually removing the information of certain record from the database file in itself. And the other one is insert anomaly. So we try to insert the data in a record and that does not exist at all. For example, I have a primary key for a key relationship between two tables. And in order to insert data in one table, which is actually table B, uh, whenever I try to insert some kind of a data in table B, I actually get an insert anomaly because the parent table does not contain the parent row for the table, uh, parent row, which is a parent row in the parent table, parent table, table A. So you can't actually insert the data in this. So, the, so if the proper primary key for a key relationship is not made here, the data will be inserted into table B, but since there will be no relation between table A and table B, uh, the data should not be inserted, but it is actually inserted and there it will be acted as a orphan record. And it can lead up to like updated anomaly and deletion anomalies. So when I talk about anomalies, how can we actually remove them? We actually utilize normalization and normalization is to remove, is actually a method to remove all these kind of anomalies and bring the database into a consistent form. So uh, just to briefly describe here, I'll give you a bird's eye view about the normalization process. So. There are basically three steps in normalization uh, in which data is actually transformed into first, second, and third normal form. In future blocks, I will discuss the normalization in detail, but for now on, it is all about the anomalies, and uh, hopefully you have understood the concept. So please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share my YouTube channel, Yasef Fazal, and please do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you should get the latest update updated video as soon as possible, as soon as it is uploaded. And as always, please spread the knowledge. Thank you.